Hey, what's going on guys? It is Seth here with the Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Showcasing this 1966 Ford Fairlane GTA we have for sale. Beautiful car. You can see it is a convertible as well. Dressed in gloss black, white convertible top. Excellent chrome and trim on this car. Sitting on rally wheels, red line tires. does have a red vinyl interior in it as well, which we'll check out in just a second. But you can see when you look down the side of this car, it's a beautiful straight car. Glass is in great shape. Again, chrome and trim is in great shape as well. This is a power convertible top. Go ahead and check out our door jams. See your trim code there and VIN number. Beautiful red interior though. All your interior lights work as well. Radio works. It does have some Sun Pro gauges down there so you can monitor your volts, oil pressure, and water temp. Odometer reads 48,575 miles. Even the cold light works on this car. And your shift indicator light works as well. Nice three spoke wood grain wheel. Looks great. Let's go and check out the other side. First, we'll open up the trunk, see what's hiding in here. Yep, might help if I use the right key. Wasn't even paying attention. Nice tidy trunk with spare tire, jack assembly. Looks like a car cover there, I believe. Beautiful red interior though. Looks great with the black paint job. Pairs well with the red line tires. It's hard to see, but your center console light is working as well. So let's go back around to the driver's side. We'll fire this thing up. We'll check under the hood, see how she sounds. key there. See the oil pressure is about 50 and we're just sitting at like 160, 170 water temp. It's a tiger? Doesn't it have spots? A cheetah? Good sound on radio. 
turn on our headlights, see if the wipers work. Those work. Nice little sounding car. Let's go ahead and see what's hiding under the hood. We'll talk about what's under there. Alrighty guys, here's an under hood shot. You guys can see the 390 cubic inch engine. Factory air conditioning. It does have all the correct clamps and markings as well. Really nice engine bay on this car. It's very quiet under here as well. No knocks, no ticks, no rattles, exhaust leaks. So you can see your power brakes there. Kind of hard to see, but it is disc brakes up front. Let's go ahead and step in the inside. Turn the air conditioning on. starting to get a little bit cool. Yep. It's not ice cold, but it's not warm either. Definitely enough to cool you down on a hot summer day. Honestly, the more I sit here, the cooler it's getting. But again, it's not a vintage air conditioning setup. So it's not going to be ice cold, but again, it's enough to cool you down on a hot summer day. I can definitely use that. We'll go ahead and shut that off. Nice that it even works. We'll go ahead and shut our headlights off. Let's go ahead and take this thing for a drive, guys. We'll see how she does. Alrighty, guys. We just pulled out of the showroom. We're going to be taking this car for a short drive. Show you guys that it does obviously run and drive. This car has a three-speed automatic transmission, 390 under the hood. So far, it's an extremely easy car to drive. This is my first time driving it. We're cruising about 53 pounds of oil pressure, charging at 14 volts, sitting just under 180 water temp. Go ahead and slow down for these railroad tracks as they will tear a car up. Beautiful car though, guys. I love the gloss black exterior, red guts, red line tires, white top, it all pairs super well. But you guys did see the radio works in the walk around video. I'll go ahead and show you guys that again. Is it it's new or is it three years? Sounds like the speaker's right under your seat. So you kind of get that subwoofer feel to it. But we're cruising right along at 45, 50 mile an hour. No tachometer in this car. Jacks fall asleep. You can tell I'm not bouncing up and down. Honestly, probably one of the smoother cars I've driven on. If you're from Ohio, you know their roads are not the best. But we'll go ahead and make a U turn. working there on the dashboard. I can hear the clicker turning off like it wants to. Let's see if our right indicator works. There it is. up the 
the speed. But alrighty guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button. Turn on the bell to get notified every time I list a car for sale, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.